My name is Kenneth and I'm the PSLA Science Specialist here at the Big Lab Learning Center. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a little bit more about our P3 and P4 GAP programs. So the GAP stands for Great Accelerator Program and it's, it is in this one and a half hours highly impactful sessions that we help students to explore science in a creative manner, to build their foundation in science so that when they move from P3 to P4 in the lower block to P5 and P6 in the upper block, they would be able to breach the expectations in terms of how they should tackle the questions, how their answering techniques should be, and most importantly, that would definitely help them to keep their motivation and their creativity and their excitement towards science, the science subject as a whole. Right? So what we do in the weekly sessions is that we use a variety of activities of course, the first one will be the most basic, but what we do is when we cover a certain topic, we will share with them what is the key information, what are the key concepts. And when we do our memory work, we memorize how to explain the key concepts instead of ex memorizing the answers for a particular question because we know that the question will always change, but the science syllabus, the concepts that are going to be tested does not. Right, so this is some of the study strategies which you want to impart to the student right from the beginning. And the other thing in order to pick their interest in science is that we use a range and a variety of science experiments, both uh, science kits that we create ourselves and those that we have purchased from vendors in order to have, let them have a hands-on activity to explore science through touch. Right? So for example, the movement of heat in water. We cannot see heat energy transfer, but we can feel the heat energy transfer. And so we try to let them have um, experience, right? So we, they can learn through experiential learning. For example, maybe putting one hand in hot water, or warm water, and the other hand in cold water, and then after for two minutes, and then taking them out and putting them in the warm water, and get them to explain how they feel. So the whole cons the whole idea behind this experiment is to share with them that heat travels from a hotter to a cooler region and our sense of touch isn't that uh, accurate because it depends on whether our hand is gaining heat or is it losing heat. If we have the, hot, the hand in hot water or warm water and then we put it in water at room temperature, what happens is that the heat from the hand, which is rather warm or warmer than the room water at room temperature, it will start to lose heat. That will cause our hand to feel cool, right? But the other hand, the hand that was in cold water, when it was put into water at room temperature, it started to gain heat. But gain heat from where? Gain heat from the water at room temperature, causing the hand to feel warm. So these are the structures of answering which are important for students because when they move to P5 and P6, the teachers do not have time to go back to P3 and P4 topics to reinforce that, right? Or to try to teach them how to answer the, the concepts, but this time at the higher level, right? Which means at the P5 level, the questions that are tested do have a higher level of expectations. So this is where we want to bridge the gap from the beginning so that when they have a strong foundation, they will continue to progress well in science and this helps to keep their motivation level high, right? And so that they feel that science, you know, it's not a difficult subject because it's something that they can manage, it's something that they can appreciate. So I've come to the end of the sharing. If you'd like to uh, register your interest for the P3 or P4 JP science programs, do get in touch with us by dropping us in WhatsApp or SMS or call to this number. 86211533. If you'd like to get in touch with us through email, you may email the piglab at gmail.com. Alternatively, on our website, www.thepiglab.com, you can also use the contact form to post your inquiry and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for your time and have a great day ahead. Bye. Mm -hmm.